Good morning, Internet! What is up, guys? How are you all doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. And I've got some Assassin's Creed gameplay. Yep, it's from the uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations, you know, the beta. If you haven't been invited to it, then unfortunately you can't play, so I don't know how many people people have been invited but I was given a code so I, I had the opportunity to play and I'm still playing it now and um, yeah I just want to give you a little taste of it just to see just you know if you didn't know what the game looks like or you've never played Assassin's Creed before or you wanted to take a look at the beta well here it is basically and um, the beginning of this the game you know beginning of this game I wasn't doing so good because I was still getting used to the controls and stuff I haven't been able to play Assassin's Creed in a long time, you know, I mean, I've played Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2, uh, Brotherhood, uh, you know, number 3, Brotherhood, um, all, all of them, and I, I'm a huge fan uh, of the series, and uh, it, it's, it's such a great game, and one thing I need to say about this game is that Assassin's Creed Revelations is, has got the one of the best graphics, one of the best looking games I have seen in a long time. Uh, it reminds me of, um, you know, slightly of... Um, Battlefield um, graphics um, and a bit of um, Brothers in Arms as well, like their graphics, and they're all really good graphics on there as well. Um, you know, on the PlayStation, of course, on other consoles, it might be different, I don't know. But um, yeah, this game is absolutely amazing. It takes some getting used to. This is probably my fourth match. Um, the first match I finished sixth, the second match I finished fifth. The uh, third match I finished uh, third, and this match I finished first. So I thought I should post this um, game of me actually winning and um, achieving something <laughs> rather than failing, because no one likes to see a fail video on the internet. Well, I don't know about you guys, but yeah. Um, as I said, the controls do get um, they get they're confusing at first because I, I I I haven't played in such a long time that I've even forgotten how how to sprint. I forgot the sprint button. And um, on top of that, they've changed the um, button, you know, the, the layout, the mapping of the buttons and stuff. They've changed it up a little bit, so it, that takes some getting used to as well. But um, on the whole, it's an incredible game, even at this stage. It's just a beta, but um, we are giving given free maps, and this is one of them. I'm sorry, I don't know the names, but I'm sure so, you know some of you may or may not know. But um, uh, yeah, we're given three three levels to play, and um, there are two game types as far as I know. This is one of them where you have a target and you need to kill them. Uh, the other is um, the other is a team-based game where you're put on teams of four. It's four v four, and what you have to do. Oh no, there's three game types. Yeah, sorry. And one of them is um, this, you know, where you assign a target like an assassin and you kill them. Uh, next, um, you are on a team, so there's four v four, and you have to. Uh, one team hides while the other team tries to find them and then the roles are reversed in round two and the final game type is um, kind of like capture the flag type thing where um, you hold a artifact in a certain area and you have to protect it while the other team tries to grab it at what you try to grab theirs as well so it's basically the capture the flag principle where um, uh, each time you capture the artifact and you bring it back to your base you gain one point and the kills don't, kills and stuff don't count. And there's, I think there's a tiny respawn um, time limit as well. You know, time delay. But um, you know, the game types. Oh, this this kill right here. I was so pissed off. Oh, that axe straight in my nose. That look. That looks like it hurts. I, I'm not gonna lie. That looks like it hurts. But uh, yeah, the game types and the game. You know, the game modes and the graphics and apps look so fluid. Even at this stage, looks so good. It's absolutely amazing. I had I played it for like a couple of hours, and I had so much fun. Unbelievable! Uh, it gets very, it gets very difficult, especially once uh, everyone knows what they're doing and they know how to hide, they know how to get hidden kills and stuff. Now I'll probably be posting a um, not tutorial video, but um, a video which shows um, me going through the tutorial because um, you're not thrown into the multiplayer straight away. You're given like a two-minute tutorial where you actually play uh, as your character, but against AI. So. I'll probably post that to show you guys what the um, requirements are, what you need to do, how to get a kill. For example, that guy on the right who just jumped from the ledge, you know, stuff like that. But um, 
you know, the abilities that you can use, how you can identify your target, how to stay hidden from your enemy that's trying to kill you, etc, etc, etc. But um, the game is, oh, I cannot stress how, how good this game is. As I said, I've played all the games, but this one looks like it's going to be, oh, it's just going to blow the rest of them out of the water for me, you know, in my, in my opinion. And um, even, even at this stage, you see that that was a hidden kill right there. For hidden kills, you get more points, and um, that's how I ranked up. As, as, as you can see, throughout the game, I was mid-range, I wasn't the best player, but then I started using the tactics that I learned in a tutorial, that's why. That's why I wanted to show you guys a tutorial video, because it helps me out a lot, especially if you concentrate. But, uh, yeah, what was I even talking about? Um, yeah, this game's going to blow the rest of them out of the water in my eyes, you know. It, it's, it's just such a great game. I mean, it's going to be such a great game, even at this stage, it's so good. You know, the visuals, the um, the motion, the graphics, or, you know, the animations, so good. Um, and they've added a few new um, features to it, for example, um, the... Uh, top right hand side you can see like the target the way it's located in the way you locate your target the way you, um, you understand if your target can see you or not as you can see my target is right there on the right the bald guy he can see me and the meter on the far right is called incognito or something the blue one fills up and the more it fills up the less point you get points you get for the kill so things like that you know those features are very good like um, when you approach your target um, there's like special music and like voices, you know, whispers that come up and everything goes a bit quiet and dim, you know, same ha thing happens when your enemy approaches you, so it's great new features, those little tweaks that make the game really, you know, perfect, that's how you know this game is going to be absolutely perfect. And the guy is coming right behind me and I see him take his kill, so I move in for mine, that's what you've got to watch out for as well, um, you can't be... Uh, it's not just about getting a kill, it's about protecting your identity and yourself at the same time. And right here I made a rookie mistake. Um, uh, I should have, because that guy in the white following me, I think he's, um, I thought he was my murderer, but he wasn't. And you can never be sure, so I'm like, okay, it's not him because he walked away. But this happens, and this guy from the crowd gets me. So, fair play to him, he played it very well. But I just got confused, you see. You never know who your attacker is until the last moment. That's why it's a... Uh, it's a very dangerous game and you have to play it cautious at first, especially if you're not used to the map, uh, maps and the uh, game modes and the controls like I was in the beginning. That's why I played it very cautious. But um, towards, I think it's around here, or well, yeah, you know, yeah, I think it's around here where I start getting a little bit more aggressive, um, where I actually figure out what the controls are, I feel more fluid while playing it. And you know, you can, where you just relax and you just let the game, you know, fall into the game, just carry on um, fluidly. That's when you can. Um, that's where I pro properly shine in the game, and that's when you really start to have fun. Even if you get killed, and um, there's something called a contested kill, where if your enemy um, attacks you, but you try, to, as you can see, I saw him running. You, that's one rule: you never ever run in this game. If you run, you give your position away from everywhere. But um, yeah, if you, um, you know. It, as you can see, the guy came up behind me and I didn't contest it. If I contested it, he would have still killed me, but he would have received less points because I um, saw him coming, you know, I saw the attack coming, whereas, yeah, as I said before, silent kills get you more points. But, yeah, con you know, things like like the feature of a contested kill and stuff, that's, you know, that's a very good feature that they've added in there and stuff. So I I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Uh, it's absolutely great. But, um... Yeah, um, I think there's like another minute to go. This is where it properly gets exciting. I see the guy, I run at him. I'm, I'm not having any more of this. He, he's crap. You know, he just killed me a second ago. I'm, I'm, I'm taking my revenge. I'm getting my vengeance on. Hell yeah. But uh, yeah, there's like a minute or something left. And it's like, I'm, oh, I'm second. I've never reached second place in, you know, as far as I was playing that day. And it was, it was, it was, I was my heart was pumping. It was going. And I saw this guy again, same guy. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to get you back. I'm gonna get you back so bad, and then bam! And look at those animations—the blood splatter, the way the body falls onto the ground. Oh, it's just so good. And what you just saw on the right—the guy punched someone, which that's how you stop someone from killing you. See, I didn't see her coming, so she had an easy kill. But if you see someone coming and you press circle on, you know, the PS3, you stop, you stun them, which um, stops them from killing you, and you get the points which is you know awesome as well but you need to use at the right time because you can kill civilians in this game and if you do kill civilians your position is given away for miles you know everyone knows who you are everyone knows that um, you're you know you're you're in the multiplayer you're not an AI 
But uh, yeah, here is where I take the lead and shit really starts to go down. I mean, oh, I see, I see this guy coming around the corner. Last second, I'm like, uh-oh. As you can see on the top left, I've got three red arrows, which means there are three people trying to kill me. Two of them I just took down now. And don't worry about this guy. If you take him down before he kills you, honorable then death. he can't kill you. And this is what an honorable death looks like. You try to stop him, but it eventually you failed. But I died, but I still finished first. And um, I would have cut the video here, but I wanted to um, let it carry on for another few seconds just to show you guys what the uh, scoreboard looks like, what kind of accolades you get, what kind of, um, you know, how, how the game looks like even when the game's finished. Like the things, you know, some sort of achievement that you unlocked, how the points are spread out and, you know, stuff like that. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's um, one level one game mode for Assassin's Creed Revelations Beta. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Sniper474. Hope to see you guys soon, and I'm out.